What is going on everyone at the Winning Gaming Channel? My name is Prowler1 and to here. Uh, my name is Prowler1 and today what I present to you guys is a 59 gun streak I believe with the Ripper. Hold up, let me check this real quick. So it is a 59 gun streak with the Ripper. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And basically it's by my boy Cryptic1 and pretty much one of the greatest players out there i think he's with one other person so it's not completely solo but it's still pretty insane how he's able to drop 59 kills with one gun in a single life but anyway to go along with such an amazing task and feat what i'm going to talk to you guys about today is how to get a lot of kills in one game and maybe once we get done with that i'll tell you guys how to win more gunfights and essentially get a higher kd so anyway, let's get right into the commentary here today. And basically, if you guys want to get a lot of kills, you know, like 100 plus, I'm actually going to start a row to 100 plus on my channel. We're going to be trying to get a 100 plus kills. It's going to be a live commentary series. And basically, what we're going to try and do is get 100 kills live. Well, I'm commenting you guys, you know, what's going on in the game. And I'm going to give you guys tips during the entire thing and just talk about stuff. But you guys can go check that youtube.com slash xsites. The I is a Y, so you might want to type that in. Link in the description, as always, will be for that. Also, follow me as well. Anyway, if you guys want to get a lot of kills in a single game, basically, you're, you're going to want to pick a gun that you're comfortable with. This isn't this doesn't mean, you know, if you never used uh, the SA-805, for example. If you never used that gun before, don't use that and try and get 100 plus with it. It just won't happen. You gotta use a gun you're pretty comfortable with, most likely your most preferred weapon or a weapon you have a lot of kills or high KD with. Now, obviously when you're doing this, well, this might not be obvious, but usually if you're gonna try and do this as like the average player, you're not gonna get a high KD doing this. But you wanna try and aim for like 20 deaths, that's pretty good, but if, you gotta, if you're gonna do it on a map like Freight or something, I guess, you're gonna wanna follow these tips. And you're going to want to play more aggressive than passively because if you're playing passively and camping a bit, I'm not saying you're going to have to camp, but you're going to want to challenge a lot of stuff. Now, obviously, if you challenge something and lose the gunfight, that could have been one more kill added on. But if you play it passively, you're going to be losing time and you're not going to be able to get as many kills. And you may miss up an opportunity on a triple kill or a multi-kill or a chance to get more than just one kill if you're playing passively. So you want to challenge easy stuff. Now, obviously, if they're on a head glitch and you're going to be in the open, don't challenge that. That would just be stupid. So you got to play smart as well. And this also has a lot to do with it. If you're new to the game, you're not going to get 100+. plus. You have to have quite a bit of knowledge of the game and know exactly what you're doing. So you guys got to know the map. That's also another thing is you got to have a map that you know well. You don't just go into a map that you never played before and drop 100+. plus. It doesn't work like that. It never will and that's pretty much what you guys have to do so two basic tips you know have a gun you guys like have a map you guys like and the next thing is get people that you like now you guys can do this solo you guys can do this with a six man party doesn't matter but in the end if you guys want 100 kills basically what i recommend for anyone to get 100 kills is a full support party now, obviously, if you guys are going to post this for a clan or something, do not do this. You know, I'm talking five people running vests and oracles for you. And this is going to help you get 100 plus. Don't go out there and post this on your channel. Like, you can do it on your channel, but don't post it on a clan channel or anything like that, considering you're using a five-man support squad. So, you know, I'm going to try and do mine solo, but, you know, don't, eh, don't have people toss in ballistic vests at your feet. That's just the bottom line for that. So, most likely you want to play with friends, you know, they're easy to play with, they, most likely friends who know the map, or know the game well, not just some kid who randomly got the game, or you gave the game to him, or something like that, and it's like his first time playing, he's not going to be much help to you, probably worse than a random you could get, but, in the end, it's going to take a lot of players, it's going to take mainly a full party, because you got to have the right amount of time to get this, if you're going to, you know, do this right, you got to get those flags neutralized and all that good stuff happening at the same time now i'd say you know you want to play with three to six people in domination blitz obviously it's possible if you're spawn trapping but spawn trapping is just stupid even though i used to do it a lot i've completely changed as a player but you guys most likely want to do this with a two three to six man party and just make it a lot easier 
And moving on, that's pretty much it for how to get a 100 plus. Obviously, lethals would help, and all of that good stuff. Attachments, silencers work, pretty much anything in that matter. But moving on to how to get a high KD and how to win more gunfights. This is a question I get asked a lot. You know, how do you get a high KD? How do you win a lot of gunfights? And you're not going to win everyone unless you have, like, God Mode or something, but... I can tell you how to win a majority of your gunfights against the other players, and the number one thing to help you guys win gunfights is have focus. Focus, um, it just makes you not flinch from people who think they're the best who don't run focus, you know. Good luck to you. I'll, in Black Ops 2, I don't run focus or toughness or whatever it's called. I just run straight up scavenger and hardline. Not hardline, not green, but I don't run toughness in Black Ops 2. Now I do since I'm going for like a 9 KD, so obviously I have to have um, toughness on. But typically I don't. But focus just helps a lot. You know, you don't won't get as many view kick headshots, and it'll just be easier to keep your aim on a guy. The next thing is you want to use the gun that you have for the distance. Like if you have a submachine gun, don't try and map people with it. If you have an AR, don't play, try and play close up. Play to the gun style that you have. Obviously, if that means playing, changing up your play style, then you're gonna have to do that. I'd recommend the gun that you play the best with, which means that your play style is most likely based off of that gun. So you guys are comfortable with the gun, you don't have to really change up your playstyle much. And you guys might want to run lethals, that helps a lot since you don't have to be running around the map. Specialist obviously can help, all the per all the packages help. But you guys can have helicopters and guard dogs and all that stuff running around getting kills for you. Well, you don't have to use it all with your gun. And that's pretty much what you guys have to do to get a high KD and win gunfights. Pretty much all it to say is toughness and a gun you're comfortable with. And making all the right challenges, obviously it's play with your mind, not your hands, most likely for Call of Duty. And you're going you're gonna to want to use your mind a lot. It's not really what happens in your hands, it's more, more of the mind, you know, knowing what you're doing. All of that good stuff. Anyway, if you guys like any of my commentaries or my gameplays, this, this obviously isn't mine. But you guys can go check out my channel as well. Like I said, it's youtube.com slash xsites with the Y, with the eyes of Y. And you guys can see just a whole massive bunch of gameplays on that channel, as well as on this channel as well. I just said as well way too many times there. But you guys can see my insane gameplays on this channel as long as well as, I didn't want to say as well, but along with my other channel. And yeah, this is the, end, you know, this, the beginning and the end of this commentary were absolutely awful. But I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay commentary, and my name is Prowler, and hopefully I can see you guys, you guys again soon. Yo, 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 guys, and it's your boy Pat Proverbs here. Uh, it was a great commentary by Prowler, absolutely really informative, and, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. But I needed to announce the winner of the 2.5K March $25 Mod Junkies giveaway. Uh, it's Evan Papadopoulos. Evan, get in touch with me. Inbox me through YouTube. Uh, send me a direct message, personal message. If you guys haven't seen the previous two videos, make sure you do so. Uh, they are on the screen right now, along with all social links for One End Gaming as a whole and the individual players featured in today's video. Again, Evan, get in touch with me if you guys haven't seen the 35-second World's Fastest Infecting Kev. Be sure to click on that, as well as our fastest solo chemstrike, Minute and 38. That's also on the screen, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.